can start. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. So uh, first things first, given, given these times, I have to read this little script, which is to say that pursuant to the Governor Baker's order of March 12th, 2020, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law chapter 30A, section 18, this meeting of the TAC is being conducted via remote participation. Um, roll call to check that everybody's there, your video and, and your, your, so everybody's vid, uh, video and audio is working okay. Um, the meeting is going to be recorded and may be shown on Amherst Media and broadcast to the town of Amherst on the town of Amherst YouTube channel. Cool. So I'm gonna call the meeting to order. And um, so people, oh, if, if anybody's on phone, nobody's on a phone, you press star nine to raise your hand. And this says, you know, if you're not speaking, be muted so that we don't get the background noise. That hasn't been a real problem for us yet. Um, all right. Thank you all very much for, oh, hi, Eve, for coming tonight. Um, and thank you, Amber, for the, the agenda, which is the call to order. I don't have any announcements or, or uh, public comments. Um, does anybody have anything that they want to say before we continue, before we launch? Um, ah, I see Tracy's hand is up. Hi, Tracy. Hi, um, could we just, I know the um, town council does this and it seems really helpful on our agendas. Could we just, could we please include the link to the meeting? The, the what? On our posted agendas, can we include the Zoom link to the meeting? Oh. I just, the uh, council The council always does that. It seems it's so, kind of, you know, one-stop shopping to have it all like with the agenda. All right, yeah, I, yeah I, I'll do that from here on out, Tracy. That's no problem. Okay, yeah. thank you. Well, I don't know. This seems like such a, a vulnerable meeting to be bombed. I don't know. Does that, does that open us up to... Uh, to uh, trolls? No. no, because you're in Zoom webinar format, which is, and the town is super strict about its settings. Yeah, good, no, thank you. That's, that's a good idea. And that way I'll actually be able to find it, which I wasn't able to tonight. Thank you, Gilford. Uh, but you can't, but Aaron, you can't log in as a um, panelist unless you use the link that Amber gave you or once right. you log well, in, I, then Amber elevates you to be a panelist. Yeah, I got it. So. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking care of me. Um, let's see, there are no, oh, no hearings. I don't want to have any hearings. There are no minutes yet. Um, am I looking at the right agenda? Yes, I am. Um, the organization, which we, we took care of last week. Um, and so getting right down to the, the thing that I sent around to all of you. Um, so I, um, I spoke with, uh, Paul on election day, we had we had some downtime. Actually, that's not true. We stole some downtime because uh, it was very busy. And um, just to, uh, trying to get a sense of, you know, how how you know what the next steps are, what what we can do um, to to get some to to, to begin to uh, um, encourage some decisions to be taken, um, and. Um, this the charge the idea of rewriting the charge is is a big step in that because um, and and maybe Darcy can help with this a little bit there's not really a consensus on how um, the council will use the TAC or the TSO um, or the TSO will take advantage of of the TAC the idea of putting the of the charge of creating the charge and simplifying that that as I put it, the everything and the kitchen sink charge that we had into this was to uh, give them a handle to hang on to and say, okay, yes, this is this is a good idea. This is not a good idea. We're going to change that, and and then off we go. Um, so I'm glad to see you here, Darcy, tonight. I thought I thought we were in a um, in a um, one of those weeks where we both meetings happened at the same time, the TSO and the TAC. Yeah, it does. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to leave at quarter after six. Oh, see, the okay. meeting starts at six thirty. Okay. So, um, um, well, the, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're able to get here at the beginning. So when I say all of this, you can say, "You nuts! That's not what's going on at all." 
Uh, but the um, the idea, so so, uh, so that's what I wanted when we go over the charge tonight, that's kind of the, the, the central idea that I wanna keep is that we are making a suggestion um, which will bring to the TSO, I think the process, which is not yet formed, but is gonna be along the lines of going to the TSO and saying, here it is, let's have our, have a discussion about, you know, where this is sufficient, where it's inadequate, where we're off base, where we need more support, more, you know, whatever. And then um, let that get fed up to the, the council as they take their decision about, I guess it's committees in general. We're not the only group that are in this, in this, um, in this position of, sort of not, not having a charge being handed down to us and say, go. Um, so I, I, I'm not feeling, I guess I'm not feeling singled out. I'm still anxious. I still am wanting to get to work and, and, and take advantage of all of your time and do something constructive and helpful for the town. So um, that's, that is what the underlying thinking was um, to the draft that I sent all of you. And I appreciate the comments that I got back, um, especially, I mean, you know, yes, I got to capitalize public way. I'm doing that because there's, that's an emphasis I think that's important. And, and you know, there, there's, there's a lot of shortening that has had to go on. Thank you, Kim. And there was um, some clarification, which I wanted to speak to tonight when we get down to that paragraph. Um, but none of you said, this is nuts. This is not what I want to do. This is, this is kind of, it, it feels like, uh, you know, this is generally what we want the TAC to do, that, that, that charge. Um, and so I wanted to start with that question first um, to make sure that it's asked specifically. Because uh, have, I haven't asked it, it's not been asked before yet. But, um, um, and so um, I can't remember who it was who wanted to, um, edit the four points that the um, were in the report. Um, I didn't want to do that because um, that's a verbatim. That's a quote from that report, from that finding. I, 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 I forget who who suggested that. And yes, what follows in the charge does not match with those four points exactly. Um, and I, I I hope that's not a problem because the points were made at a different time when we have a different, different understanding of uh, the report, you know, it was what, seven years ago now, happened at a different, um, and so I don't wanna edit the points, even though they're not exactly on, they are literally what we all saw, what was sent to the, the select board and what is in the, uh, the archives uh, for anybody who cares to look at TAC stuff. Um, and yes, what follows doesn't match exactly, but I think um, reflects the um, what what I think, and and I hope we all can agree on some some version of that. Um, our charge, or you know, our, what our work should be. Um, so so Darcy, how's that? Is that is that working? Yeah, yeah. Um... I think that um, you know we're perfectly willing to uh, wait until you feel comfortable with what you want to put forward. Um, I don't think there's any rush on our end, and I also don't actually think that you need to to put off doing some substantive work if you see something that needs to be done. But that's I, that. I'm supposed to just be a liaison, so. Um, uh, we use yeah, our liaisons I, differently than other committees. <laughs> yeah, I, I have multiple hats because I'm the liaison from the ECAC and the liaison from the council, so. Yeah, yeah. okay, so. But I think you're doing, you're, you know, you're going in a fine direction. Yeah, and, and so then, then uh, what, what's on the, also on the agenda for tonight, I wanted to us, to uh, actually next after we've talked about the charge is to look at uh, sort of revisit, review our um, intake process because that's that's a big thing of what I see us doing. Yes, Kim. 
I like that. That's kind of fun. That's uh... <laughs> I think uh, Eve had a question. Sorry. Oh, so I thought that was your hand, Kim. Eve. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Um, Darcy, I'm wondering if you can help me understand, um, and, and just in terms of process, I should say I'm not an official member of the committee, and I didn't, uh, I, I wasn't invited to give Aaron comments. So anyway, so um, I'll, I'll just say I'm seeing this for the first time and thinking about it for the first time. But um, Darcy, what's your, can you help me understand more than what Aaron's already told us, obviously, about sort of why it's important to redo this? Because the previous charge was actually built out of the same document um, that Aaron's tapping now um, and out of the same process. And, you know, there are things that are being added and things that are being taken out. And I'm not sure or exactly um, what that's about or why that's needed. Well, the, the council did way back when we first were seated, um, the governance and legislation committee just urged um, town committees to relook at their charges to update them. So they didn't say select board anymore and, and so on. Um, and they, they created a template but it wasn't um, required, it was just suggested. Uh, so I think that that's a piece of what is happening, suggest, you know, being suggested by the town, uh, mostly the town manager from what I can tell, because yeah, the town well, council has not officially done anything, said yeah. anything or have any opinion. So. Yeah, I would, I would add to that, that um, um, I went to a TSO meeting a number of, was it five weeks ago now? And, and had a long talk about that with them. Uh, they were, they were, they were very, very generous with their time. I think we may have taken more time on this than they, they had planned, uh, but I do appreciate it because a number of things came out of, of that meeting. Um, and, and I spoke to, we, uh, we did you, were you not there Eve, but any event, uh, um, we spoke on the tack about what Tracy and I had seen that night and heard. Yeah, and yeah, no, no, it, I, I was there when you reported on yeah, it. So this, this is this is really a response. It is my response, my suggested response to all of that stuff that we picked up, and really what 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 I'm anxious for is um, sort of a. a, 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 a uh, the truth that the reality check that yes, I heard and said these things, Tracy heard and said some things at the, in the meeting and that this in fact reflects that. And, and it's, it goes maybe a little bit beyond that because there's some other things that, that you know, you can see when you're with people in a room. Um, and, and like I say, I have spoken with Paul to get a sense of what, what he's thinking about and, um, you know, trying to, trying to pull it all together so that, um, uh, well, because not only because of that suggestion a long time ago by the town council to rewrite all of the charges, but also um, sort of to, to uh, realizing that the TSO is taking some overlapping, which is fine, has taken some overlapping responses in our old charge. So trying to undo that a little bit, put us into a, a logical place. So Kim, oh, you got to push the button. So, what is TSO? I'm sorry. To, to, oh, um, to town, how? Services what? and organization. Committee. Organization, that's right. Town what? Outreach, outreach, pardon me. Okay, thank you. Town services and okay. outreach. Um, so they, they, their, their charges is, is, was even broader than ours. I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty wide ranging, but um, uh, parking is in it is one, one of the things I, I wrote it out a while ago and I, I forget now, but parking was one of the things in it. Um, and and that, that, so that's why we talked about that. We talked about parking and what we, we think our role in parking might be. So, so actually, thank you, Eve, for that question. I, it's, it's, I, I don't mind recapping and rethinking and getting, getting it, you know, so solidified. Yeah. And I would just add that the only reason that it came up on an agenda of the TSO was 
because of the timing, um, it was put on as a future agenda item when it looked like TAC wasn't meeting anymore. Um, and so it was on the agenda to talk about, is TAC going to meet anymore? Yeah. And so, but <laughs> by the next, our next meeting, TAC had already met. So uh, it was a little moot when it came up um, at the TSO and we ended up just talking about like, how do we complement each other? So. Yeah. And so this is our attempt to, to do that to figure out what that complement is and um, how, how to put it into words. And really my, my part of my anxiety is, and, and uh, in this, you, you sort of uh, talk this a little bit, Darcy, my anxiety is that there are things going on that the TAC really could help and maybe should be helping understand and, and figure out. It's just sort of going on and happening and, um, well, <laughs> we'd like to catch up on some of them, whatever we can. Any event, yes, Kim. Well, I think I think the point is that we've been meeting as a committee, which really we consist of only a group of concerned like members of the town. We like transportation issues because we each have our own like thing that we're really into. And we've been meeting for a long time. And, and what I've realized is that these issues are much more complex than what they seem on the surface. And I can't see why the town council would want to deal with a lot of these things because <laughs> there's so much like history and, and connectedness that I've, I've realized because, you know, that I think that the town council really needs to lean on us as a committee who's done all this background work and has invested years into this. That's, you know, and I'm, I'm not sure how to convey that appropriately, but yeah. like, I wouldn't want to just step into this and start dealing with these issues because Is that I don't know where to begin. And we've been thinking about this a lot and we're so diverse and just a great group of people are just concerned. We don't have an agenda. We just want to make it all better. Well, and that's and that's uh, one of the things that that I, I I spoke to, and I don't know if the this thing that we're drafting, this this charge that we're drafting, is effective at putting that out. But you know what we're offering, I'm going to put into a nutshell, is um, service. There there is a service that we we can provide, and that is to do the heavy lifting in figuring out what the good advice is for answering any number of a range of issues that come up around transportation. And that's the original report, you know, 10 years ago said, oh my God, look at all these issues and see how they're in intertwined. How are you gonna deal with it? And then we said, well, make some suggestions. And then the follow-up report came and said, this is how other places are doing it. And I believe, um, I don't know, Guilford, if Paul has got you working on this or he's, he's, he's doing a little bit of He's taken that report and he's going back and looking at those models that, you know, among which, you know, from which we picked the, the TAC. Um, so that's an excellent point, Kim. And, 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 you know, thank you for making it. You know, we're here to do the work. And, um, you know, I don't know how to, to say it gently. Um, the council, the count council has no idea what they're getting into when they tackle transportation issues and we're happy to help. Um, I think you're gonna find out as you work your way through the Lincoln Avenue um, um, uh, questions. Um, there's, I mean, that, that's actually a very good, that's a good one to start. It's a great example because there's a long history there. Um, there's been many false starts and, you know, try and, and some good experiments, just they're good because they showed you what we shouldn't do. Um, and we're happy that you guys are going to do that and we don't have to deal with it. Although, but we would have been as happy to do the, um, you know, the public out. Oh, um, and sort of going back to Eve's question, he said in a scatterbrained way, one of, one of the, um, one of the issues that the TSO brought up and, and it's a good one. And I, and again, I think the charge, as I wrote it, addresses it, I hope effectively was this concern about um, going to the public twice 
for the same reason, you know, having two groups going out doing public outreach, um, you know, it, it, it confusing. Well, which is the right one? Which is the effective one? And that's that is um, that is kind of where the the uh, intake form, the up, we're calling it uptake form. Okay, the uptake form is a is a start um, because behind that will be the processes and where the public gets involved and how we would be involving the public um, and and also how the town council will be involving that. We haven't written those processes yet. The charge suggests where we would be doing that, making those, uh, making up making up that system. So, Eve, you're shaking your head. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't try to do uh, take notes and look at documents and go back to the hearing. And so anyway, excuse me, I wasn't shaking my head. I was just looking to my <laughs> two different. Screens. Body language is so hard to read on Zoom. This is so true. It is so true. Um, so, um, uh, because I haven't been involved in the, the back and forth about, um, your draft, I was here when you did your presentation, um, in the last TAC meeting. So I knew about those four points, but I didn't know what you were going to do. Um, and I would just want to make a suggestion that we actually go through each of the bullets on page two, because it seems like that's what's getting left out and make sure there's nothing in there that we don't want to, um, that you don't want to keep in. And then the other thing is, um, I would suggest that you guys also go back to the vision that the TAC passed about three years ago, um, that very succinct paragraph of um, the tax vision and, and think about having that also kind of um, as a, a founding uh, concept in addition to those four points. We might figure out how to fold that in because you're right, we did spend a lot of time and do a good job on that. And it has some specific content um, that are not actually reflected that yeah. clearly. Yeah. Yeah, I thought a lot about that. And it's it's a good point that I, um, to get in front of the committee so they can think about it too and maybe do a better job of pulling out what 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 is important um, in guiding, you know, in, in, in the guide in the guiding that the charge is doing. So, um, so um, um, do we want to do we want to start there? I mean, like I say, your comments and um, I don't know <laughs> everybody who made comments if 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 you think that I successfully wrapped them in or not. Um, there were some overlapping and some conflicting and sort of I had to take some decisions and I finally left two up so we get to pick one or, or modify them. There's an A and a B above something. I forget where I put that. Um, and um, I mean, first of all, uh, generally, are there, is, it, is this broadly, um, does it seem like this will be effective in saying, look, TSO, look, town council, here is what we can do for you. Kim, you have to push your mute again. Yeah. Um, could you share your screen with a document? It would be really useful if we could all just see it at the same time, I think. Which one so, do you want to start with? Uh, yeah. the, the, the draft that I sent, um, and page one, so that you can have the, um, the four bullets up. Thanks, Gelfer. Bernie has his hand up too. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be distracted for a moment, and look over at my others. Oh, look at that. Um, yes, Bernie. Thank you, Darcy. I, well, let, um, I, I'm gonna just let it go for now, but I, uh, we're gonna talk about these four bullet points. And uh, one of the things I was thinking of as I'm looking at the whole thing on, on, a, on a screen here, larger screen, is that uh, if you're gonna, we're gonna go to the TSO and then ultimately to the commission with a new charge uh, that you, that we might consider abandoning uh, the, the extensive reference to the old charge um, and just say, this is what we believe we can do. And, and that, would, that, would clean, that would clean things up. And if there's a, a more recent mission statement, if you will, that uh, I think Eve uh, referenced, um, you know, using that as an opening uh, would, would, uh, would be helpful. Okay, no, that, that, that's, I like that. Um, so my, my screen has cut off a lot of people now that we've gone to, to sharing. 
Um, so I, I can't. But you can slide it like Amber taught us last time. You can slide it along, and then you can see everyone. Yeah, it's it's. Um, I've got a different computer than last time. So so and, I have a question. It's Kim. Yes, Kim. Um, you know, I I understand what you're saying, Bernie, but at the same time, um, I think it's important if the town council is seeing is is looking at our new charge to kind of understand where the old charge came from. Perhaps Eve could, Eve, if that was your original comment, could you um, expand on that a little more? Because which comment? You, uh, apparently, Bernie was saying that you were commenting on this part in particular. Which no. part? Oh, Bernie can say what he was talking about. <laughs> I, I believe I believe Eve referred to a document a mission statement, if you will, that was crafted about three years ago that she said was was, was important. And I, I think I don't know what that says, but I'll take uh, I'll take it on faith that uh, it might be a good way to introduce the new charge rather than rehashing everything that's gone on before. And frankly, as we go through, we want to discuss the bullet points. Some of these really don't fit at all. And I'm surprised that this is a Nelson Nygaard product um, with what an advisory committee would do. So the, um, the, state, the statement that I have, the statement that we did was a vision statement of what we're aiming for rather than a mission statement of what we do. So it's okay, well that no, but that's but that's fine. I mean, I think that yeah. so be a much clearer yeah. presentation where we want to go, um, and then 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 going back through and and redoing a lot of of history that I think people are saying isn't really relevant anymore. Well, in this first page too, we talked about this at our last meeting, right? And we agreed that some of these roles are pretty comprehensive and that we as an advisory committee comprised of volunteers who have like full-time lives and are just on the committee, like would not be like maintaining our own work program and stuff. So, I mean, it yeah, is, I think, I think it is useful to have that history, but I don't know to some of the other points that are brought up. I don't know if I would include like the whole long list of it because it is, it is sort well, of, and I, yeah, I think as away Eve's, from like what our future would look like, I think. Yeah. And I think that Eve's sense that uh, the, the vision statement kind of is a condensate that the sense that I'm getting from Eve suggesting this is that that vision statement is a very nice condensation of a lot of, of our history and, you know, how we got from, from there, from this Nelson Igard thing to, you know, what we're trying to do today. So, <coughs> but, so um, I, don't know. Um, I'm trying to think if that if it would be if it would make it a less useful, um, a, 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 a poorer use of our time to go over this now without that. And I, I think this it's fine to go over this. I think we can still do a lot of good work here, and that that will just be a bit of a decoration, a bit of a preamble. Um, are we not able to chat in, in this particular form of Zoom? No. Oh, on the side. Yeah, I think we can chat. Um, I mean, that's a that's oh, a setting not. that's set by the town in terms yeah, of the strictness for the chat. Okay. But it, it is helpful when people give that permission. I mean, I, I, I could put the vision statement up for a minute if you want. It, the vision statement is on the tax web page on the town. It, it, it's not a mission statement, so it, it doesn't serve the same function, but I still think it's useful to bring up some ideas. That... Um, um, yeah, so no, I'll, I'll, I will send it around. I will make sure that, that everybody has it in their inbox. They don't have to sort through the... Um, the town website to find it. Um, uh, maybe as part of, you know, whatever, whatever uh, cut up, cut and paste I do with this. Um, so, um, so, so, you know, Bernie, I mean, your, your point is well taken that, 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 you know, where this comes from and where this was heading us, you know, um, 
Uh, it's interesting that it, 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 it's interesting to me that it surprises you that um, after they went through those half a dozen case studies, that this is what they pulled out of those. Um, I wouldn't have picked up on that. <laughs> but so as an example of something that we're not going to do um, is, is right there. Number one, maintaining a work program that was described as being this this comprehensive super valuable document if it was ever put together uh, but a comprehensive list of all the work that's being done to the transportation systems and the status and the assignment and um, you know due dates for all of the tasks that are involved in maintaining and improving the transportation systems um, and that you know on reflection is impractical um, and what um, we, what the TAC has developed in its, or put into its place is um, prioritizing, and that's, that's, that's a little bit later on, of course, is prioritizing tasks that we think are important to keep on a priority list and, and not let go, um, and let other stuff go. I have a question or comment, or Kim. Yes. Yes. Um, Kim. Yeah. So, so, oh, there you go. so I think it's very valuable to have the previous charge and then to have like the kind of statement that you just made, for example, to say, we actually never did the X and Y, you know, we actually never did B1, for example, what we really did, what we found we could do as a committee as a volunteer committee was to um, establish a priorities list. And that gives us reason to then st state in, the, in, the, in our current charge that that's what we're gonna do, you know? Okay. So um, I think, you know, I, having our previous charge and then saying why, you know, what the actualities, what we could accomplish as a committee, and then saying, here's our current charge based on the previous evidence of what we can do. Um, so what we're looking at, this first page was, um, was my idea for a cover letter that yeah. would pick up that kind of thing. Um, okay. Um, and, and, um, I'm hopeful that the actual charge, um, one can infer from that exactly what you're saying, that we're not going to do a work plan. We're going to do this instead because, because the charge says we're going to do this um, and that it does not look like a work program. Okay, I will, I will, I will do that. I will volunteer to do that. Um, Um, and yeah, mm. okay. So, um, so <laughs> uh, I don't know if, if we want to, so, so for instance, looking at this page, it was an A and a B. There were two very different ideas that, that I got about how to introduce the four, the four bullets. Um, and I don't know if we want to, if we as a group want to get down to the level of, of picking one of them. Nope, you scrolled away from it, Guilford. Did, didn't we have five areas? Did we? Yeah. I thought that them all. That we had minus... four in the original, and I thought we talked about a fifth, and I cannot okay. remember for the life of me what Well, this, is. okay, so what this is, th these are the four that are lifted out of the right. committee best practices report. Um, and and I, I, that's, that's as far as I wanted to go. Um, the, the, um, um, and, and, and that's where I want, that's, that was sort of the starting point. And then I wanted to go, you know, the charge to, 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 to start from there and go on. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I mean, I think what Eve is, is, is would like is that the, the um, the, the vision statement, and I, I saw your hand there, Eve. Uh, the vision statement um, does deal with a lot of that. Um, 
and and I, I call it my my thumbnail sketch for that is called advocacy, but our advocacy for um, you know non automobile transportation. Um, so, Eve. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Um, so the number five from last time that you had brought up, Marcus, uh, I took notes last time was um, was uh, like long term planning and big picture thinking. That was basically it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I agree, Aaron, that advocacy is another thing that currently isn't really reflected here. And that's really actually what the mission, the vision statement gets at is that advocacy yeah. of what we're aiming towards. And it's not just about alternative transportation. It's really about a whole transportation system that serves everyone everywhere through a variety yeah. of modes. That's, that's yeah. We, and I, we, we tried, I tried to incorporate that sense of connectedness. Um, the, the, uh, so, and that, that, that may be a question for the committee as a whole, um, what the charge, what we're offering is to do, is to do a lot of work and sort of the reward for that is that, um, um, we get to include be the best practices, good ideas, which, um, I, I think implies completely this, this advocacy role that, that. Well, it's where we've come from. I mean, that, that could be part of the history that explains how we got to the charge from these four bullets is that, um, and that was in the old charge, in fact, um, how um, the, the Public Transportation, Bicycle and Pedestrian Committee got folded into, specifically folded into this, and that um, we were to select members from that that community of advocates. Um, I, I didn't know how, how much I wanted to emphasize that and bring it out when really what I am what I think we're asking for is to, hey, let us do the work. And oh, by the way, way you're gonna get this, um, what I think is a fulsome representation of what the community is looking for. I mean, the, the reason the PTB PC came into being is because the committee said, hey, we need to look at this. Um, and so, so what do we think about, uh, does that need to be more than just part of the cover letter? When, when the charge is really suggesting the work that we're going to do Sorry, Aaron, does what need to be part of the charge and not just the cover letter? The vision statement, the, the, uh, the, advocacy, the advocacy component of, of you know, that, that, you know, we know is there that reflects. Um, and, and so, I mean, this, 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 is, this, is, this is a way of weighing this and, and I'm putting this together, I was sort of weighing the idea that really what I think the town council needs um, in, in order when they're forming their decision about the work they're gonna to bring to the TAC is the, to know what we will do. What are the things that we're going to do and the responsibilities that we're gonna take on. And then the, the, the advocacy, which, you know, when you go down, when we see that vision statement, the advocacy is for, um, not only alternative transportation to the automobile, but also uh, we talked about, we have in there um, issues with handicapped access, we have in there the social justice components, there's a, a whole bunch of other things which um, uh, you know, maybe shouldn't be taken for granted. Um, and, and maybe it's enough to put them into the, the cover letter and not necessary in the charge, um, given the function, the role of those two things in making this argument, making this pitch to let us get at it, have our work, do our work. Yes, Eve, and then Darcy. All right. Um Sorry for uh, potentially talking too much, but yeah, I'm looking around this group and actually you and I and Kim and Tracy were all on the public transit and bicycle committee in the past. That was really the committee that explicitly had advocacy in the charge. 
Um, and I think it was really valuable. And it did mention um, bicycle, pedestrian, transit, right. and disabled access, very specifically those yep. four things. And in my mind, that's a really, really important role of the tech. Uh, yes, I agree. But also, we got folded into the Public Works Committee, which was more of a nuts and bolts. Um, and uh, I guess what I'm suggesting is that um, by offering, uh, turning the nuts and bolts, um, you know, advocacy is certainly going to be part of, of what this group um, would bring to it. Now, um, so, hmm. Yeah, and Bruce comes from the public works and planning side, which is more nuts and bolts. So yeah, we, we, we are, uh, we're a diverse group, all right. <laughs> Aaron? Yes, Bruce. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. Why not put the vision statement before the composition of the group? And start mm. with that. And then you, you, you start with the vision and then you go into the practical of how it's, the group is going to be composed and then the charge. What do we think? I, I, I see Marcus is, I got one eye. I, I would say that's, that's beautiful because that's, that's what we should be doing, yeah. Because then we state out front what it is that we see ourselves doing, and then we give all the reasons behind it. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, th th thank you, Brad. I was I was going to ask you to specifically because, you know, among us, you have the, the the most experience and skill in forming arguments <laughs> for um, um, political considerations. Well, this is, you know, it's really. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have skills, Bruce. We all bring skills to the table, and and, and trying to tease out the, you know, the, the you know, who's got which one, and <laughs> sure. and and, and maybe, maybe I'm typecasting. I don't know. It may no, not be fair. Right. I'm hoping that he's comfortable enough to say, "Get off." Uh, no, that's perfectly fine. Um, okay, yes, I will do that. Um, now that, that brings up an interesting uh, second question, which is, well, um, is that vision statement as it is what we want? My answer is going to be that yes, probably most of it is, but we may want to, uh, I, no, I'm gonna say we will massage it so that it fits the new reality um, better if, if it needs to. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't remember it well enough to, to um, do it's anything more than suggest that anything. we may not need to, Aaron. No, I understand that, but I just want to, want to keep that open because um, um, it is a different time. It's, it's you know, three years on. There's been a change and some big, some big changes along the way. Even though the fundamentals, I mean, I, I certainly. Remember the fundamentals were super valuable. Oh, I think we've lost Darcy. She's gone off to her other meeting. Okay, I've got that task. Yes, TS TSO is meeting. Yeah, she she that that's um yeah. uh, that, that's an unfortunate thing that our schedule is on fixed weeks of the month, and theirs is every other week. You know, no, but also they postponed their meeting that was scheduled for last week to be this week because they didn't week, have no. any agenda items for last week. No, who's that? No. Okay, so that's that's a different reason that they get clashed this week. No. Okay. Um, do we want to look at the next page, Guilford? Please. So the reason I highlighted that is because there was a question about what, what is that? The in applying for grants. Um, and, and I think that's a very important question to be clear on. One of the values that I see 
the transportation to the TAC bringing to the table is um, the like with the complete streets. I mean, that was that was a policy um, um, that we were trying to, to, to meet a state driven policy that we were trying to meet. Um, and, and there is value in that we could get grants and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that that, that is, that is a lot of, um, I mean, I was reading the paper about how the spray park got this grant or that, that subsidy and realized the mechanism is that somebody sat down and did the work to pull together all the requirements. The way we did for complete streets, maybe that needs to be pulled out. So, so. Kim, you, you asked the question. What, you're one of the people who asked the question. So I don't know if, if that ought to be, if you'd like to see it pulled out. Well, I'll get to you, Tracy. If you want that pulled out or now now that I've said all of those words to, to fill in for those four. Um, well, and first of all, it wasn't clear to me what that, that part was applying to. So my guess is that, so it was just like a really long, um, part of that sentence and it wasn't clear what in applying for grants like was actually supposed to be attached to but my guess is that it was um, uh, help achieve compliance with federal state federal and state regu regulations and like our work was helping to do those things so that we then could apply for the the town could apply for grants right that's really what we meant it just needs to be a little more succinct and and more clear and and i agree that's a super important part of our our what we do what we can do right what we would do what we could do yes and what we have done <laughs> yeah right so, exactly. so yes. that might you know, and, and I, I also think like bringing that more cl closer to the front of what it is that we're doing is because that's a super invaluable part that I don't think, you know, other than um, the, um, the uh, what, what Guilford's group does, you know, they also help support that, that piece. They're the ones who are actually, you know, right getting the statistics and whatever together, but that's, you know, I think that needs to be highlighted a little more because that's a super important part of what we do and it needs to be made a little more clear. That's what I was saying. So so, so may, and maybe pull it out and rather than being succinct, being a little bit more fulsome. Okay. Certainly, yes, yep. Uh, Eve. Guilford, would it be possible for you to um, pull up the current charge and put it next to the um, existing one so we can look at both at the same time. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to think about that, the other charge. Well, the yeah, reason I, can I get it. Is, Hold on. is because uh, the, the previous charge, um, you know, was passed by town meeting and it had a lot of good things in it and, um, there's some specific language changes that I'm not sure why they're there that I think actually um, really, narrow, really narrow what the vision of what the attack is and does from its current charge. And um, there, it'd be worth just noting that. Great, thanks, Guilford. So, like, um, getting the, good at that, Guilford. That was awesome. The paragraph that says the TAC will, right, on both of these. So like um, on the new one, it says the TAC will address transportation matters brought to it. Whereas the old charge says the TAC will deal with all transportation matters. That's a pretty significant change. Yes, and it was, it was one that um, that I, I inferred from what the TSO was saying needed to be made because they were kind of like, whoa, uh, George especially. Um, and the, the uh, uh, so what's missing is that long range plan, planning and other stuff. And that got put in, um, I, 
um, that 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 uh, that I hoped that that was put in when and the um, if you look on the left side there in the fourth paragraph, the fourth clause, to engage in planning and transportation for the plan, transportation networks, just to to be clear that that's a st two separate things going on. We're going to deal with things that we're asked to deal with, and we want to do you know sort of take all of that knowledge all of those things and say here's here's how we plan for and what i had in mind of course is things like the pedestrian the bicycle network on the, the pedestrian network those 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 big projects that we've been doing yeah i don't know i mean guiding means taking somebody else's idea and moving it through you know strategic thinking means you create your own ideas and you bring people to it I think that's where we want to be. We don't want to guide people. But we we're guiding out groups. ahead and yeah, and direct the, uh, people. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm what I'm suggesting is we're guiding the improvements. We're not, you know, we're we're planning so that they can be guided. Or oh, they'd be directed. Yeah. Ah. Well, good. so that's that's. I want to be very careful about. Um, the idea of directing. One of the sensitivities that um, I'm, I'm sensing from the town council is that they want to be in charge. And the idea that somebody else would be taking their authority, and, and in this case, maybe I'm interpreting it too broadly, uh, in the form of directing something. Right. I kind of want to, I want to, I'm, I'm very sensitive to that. No, I, I, I'm. But your point yeah, is well I, taken, my, but the, the, the verb is just a little bit. Right. To, There's yeah. a, we need to get somewhere between guiding and um, directing. Yes. Yeah. But I do think that just guiding people to future things doesn't mean that we're doing strategic planning. And that's, that's, yeah. I think, okay. the so, shortfall so, there. Yeah. yeah. So then, then it's not clear. I mean, the, uh, the, the point of that, clause was that we do the planning and the planning then would do the guiding. Yeah, that needs to be directing. Uh, I'm sorry. The planning would do so I mean getting, we're we're suggesting and then the council is doing the directing, right? I mean mm -hmm. right. Right. We right. need a better word. And and ours yeah so so the the uh, the 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 operation here is to engage in planning, and that's the thing that needs to be a little bit more assertive. Yes. Do the planning. Right. The strategic planning for the town should come from us. The implementation needs to come from the town. We need to um, nudge them in that direction or whatever we want to say for that, but there needs to be you know, I can plan for tomorrow and I've planned for the future, but I've not planned strategically. So I need to kind of push that. Um, we are the all, all seeing, you know, all uh, knowledge <laughs> people that can look forward and consider all of the big picture, not just, you know, one particular street or whatever. Can I wordsmith a little more of that paragraph? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sure. The, Go ahead, Eva. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, trying to figure out what the how to how to how to do that, how to take those ideas. Um. And so, so it, just, it, yeah, I mean, yes, Eve. I don't. I don't think it's a problem the way that it was phrased earlier because it's an advisory committee, right? So it's not. It's not saying the TAC is going to go out and be able to implement a whole bunch of things without the town council's approval. There's also the fact that this has to get approved by the town council, right? So even if you guys put in that you can um, think about all transportation matters, you don't have to pre-reduce um, your mission. They can be the ones to tell you, you know what, you're only going to deal with transformation matters that we tell you to deal with. You don't have to put it in your proposed charge. I would keep it broad. Yeah, I agree. 
Uh, Ron, and I, I like the I like the notion of strategic. And and may, maybe uh, a bit of advocacy might be stirred into that as well. I think the advocacy is the outcome of the strategic plan. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the strategy. Right. Because yeah. I mean, and to your point, Eve, I mean, we aren't guiding we're advising i think that's probably a great way of putting everything here but we're advising the town we're advising people how to move towards the future um the the concept um I, that i don't want to lose is that uh, i mean part of our work has been and i think it's an important part of our work has been to um offer guidelines. And now so far, we've only been guiding things like how you do a crosswalks and, and sidewalks um, and lighting and things like that. Um, but, and, and I see, for instance, the, um, the, uh, the pedestrian and bicycle plan as being the guide so that when there's an opportunity, a, 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 a capital project that um, the design, its design and implementation will be guided to include these strategic plans. That's, that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's kind I, of what I think the idea should, might be. I, I would suggest that guidelines are taken under advisement, you know, based on what we say. So I, we can wordsmith the, yeah, out yeah. of this. But. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll put a bubble around. Hey, oh, I know. So, so, so Marcus, let me just, can I hand that off to you? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, sure. you, you can say no, it's, it's okay to say no. <laughs> well, but, I might but, have to say no, unfortunately, because. I mean, so somebody, it, it's, 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 somebody needs to spend time and it, it, it's, it could be me. I'm happy for it to be me. I'm not sure if you all are happy for it to be me. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, I would love to help. I just, unfortunately, given, you know, kids and everything I have. Uh, no, that's okay. No, no, no. You know, there's no no need to make excuses. It would be <laughs> um, okay. All right. So, um, sorry, I'm just going to wordsmith a, a couple more places. So, in the second line where it says a comprehensive and holistic look, previously, again, it was a, a holistic look at all transportation matters, but in this one, it's current and proposed transportation regulations and policies. So that seemed pretty reduced. And also in the current one, when it does mention regulations and policies, it also mentions initiatives and improvement projects, and that's just gone. So there are a number of like things that have been clearly narrowed. Um, there's another place further down where you said, as they affect the use and improvements of Amherst Public Way, that's important to mention the public way, but the phrasing of it suggests that the TAC only uh, advises on transportation matters that affect the public way, whereas there may be transportation matters like um, off-road trails that the TAC might want to advise on that aren't part of the public way. I like that. Should it be that include the public way, that include but are not limited to? Well, so um, the the advice that we're, I'm hopeful that we're going to be asked to give um, is specifically to the 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 people who are responsible for the public way and not not that other things the other things now um so i mean th this this document is speaking to that i i imagine um but wait i thought the tax specifically advises planning as well as the dpw as well as other town and the town council so it wouldn't only be talking to the dpw Oh no no yes exactly but in in and and in matters that involve the public waves so so um, uh, you know when there's a, a policy or decision about how things are going to be done uh, guiding the work in um, it's it's it it's not for 
um, you know, DCR when they're putting together the, um, the rail trail. Although, think bringing up that example, we did it. Um, um, and, and the select board took that and, and, and thank goodness, we, we all, we, some of us remember how that turns out or where it was going and how it turned out. Um, so, okay, that's, that's good. All right, I, got, I don't know. Now, so that's, here, here's, here's the sensitivity that, I, that I'm feeling around this. Um, again, this is the, 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 somebody taking their responsibility and um, they're the town council's responsibility. Um, so I'm just kind of be mindful of that. All right. All right. I mean, in contrast, I thought the end, the like what you took out at the end of that paragraph fit very well with our conversation of a couple of weeks ago, you know, where, where you guys basically said, you know what, we can't be the central point of contact and deal with all transportation matters that any citizen brings up, right? And that's the that's basically the the what you took out of that end of that first paragraph. So that fit really well. Yeah. Um, so maybe scroll down to the next section there, Guilford, please. Tasks, yeah. Oh, not not too far. We don't want to miss the. Uh, don't want to miss the. There's one. There's one clause above that, above what you have on the left. We clause. And I, I did get a lot of comments on this section. Oh, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. I, See, I the, the problem, Bruce, is that your hand is the same color as your books. Uh, okay. uh, I'll have to get new books for next time. I think so. Would you? It'd be a little hard to get a new hand. <laughs> I just had a very minor point under tasks. Instead of saying considerations with other town committees and interests, I thought you could just say consultation with other town committees, period. Oh, I thought I, I thought I put that in. Uh, Consul, uh, consultations with. Consultation, pe consultation with other town committees, period. My, my oh, other town committees. Oh, get rid of interest. Okay, yes. Yes. And also uh, consideration should change the consultation. Yeah, so I, I got I got the consultation, but I didn't get the, the interest because those were in your comments from that you right. sent me. And I, I, I tried to get those in, but yeah, um, okay. okay. That, that's my only comment about that. I got it. Thank you. No, that was that was that was good. Uh, yeah, I, I I I appreciated your sort of pulling in things, making it a little bit tighter. That was good. Yeah. Yes, Thank Kim, you. you have a, an inquisitive look, and I thought I saw your hand. Perhaps, but I just thought that one of our major tasks was prioritizing public works projects. I don't see this on this list. Maybe I haven't read it. I thought I, is it down a little bit? No, you did read yeah. it. I know you read it. I saw. <laughs> maybe it isn't highlighted enough, but it's under the paragraph that starts with respond to community requests. Oh, no, it's at the bottom. It's at the very bottom. And I think that should be closer to the top. That's all. Because I ah. feel like that's like been our major work over the last year and a half. And it should be up there. Like number two, potentially. I think that's a good suggestion. Okay. That's for you, Guilford. Well, I think Guilford would would like 
agree that that's been like, yeah, that's, I that's feel a- like that's something that he's really wanted us to do. And I feel like it's something that we've actually accomplished as well, mainly, and it should be up there yeah, on the list. Um, it looks to me like it's going to be number three. So the okay. two provides can be together. Okay. Yep. Sure. It just seems <laughs> like, you know, that's a thing I feel like we've actually done. It should be like high up there because I yeah. feel like, like, you know, others would agree. And it, it, I feel like that's what we've helped out with the most so far. Other than the long-term plans. And just, just this, that, that mysterious legal fine print uh, in the charge, in the old charge, is a whole bunch of stuff about legal stuff, which I'm, I'm going to let whoever's doing that now um, do that. Um, do the boilerplate. Okay, well, I've got two pages of notes. So I'm wondering about some of the other bullets on the page two of the old charge. Um, like uh, evaluate um, the town's road, sidewalk drainage, traffic circulation systems, public transportation, bicycle facilities to recommend priorities for their maintenance, repair, extension, and reconstruction. I think we've engaged in that and that that's important um yeah and 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 the town's transfer i imagined yeah i imagine that was all simplified into the planning role that i see for us the the um one one of the reactions that that i got um from the tso was um I think that there, there's in the, in the movie Salieri, in the play Salieri, there's about something about too many notes, um, and um, and that's I was getting a sense that this there's just too many words, too too many little little bits and pieces to this, um, and so I mean I, I very deliberately tried to collapse it down into broad ideas that we would explode in our work of course but they don't need to they the council town council doesn't need to charge us with doing that just do these things and then we pull that out so um but so my, what my what do we think i mean simply so granted i mean it was, it's it's much simpler and i hope not less compl- comprehensive i mean do you even mention the um transit and the pvta uh yes where is that Uh, yeah, but it's it's in the composition. Oh, it's in composition. That's not where I. That's not where you wanted to. Uh, yeah, it's okay. it's it's the first and under charge. It's one of the first. It's the first thing that we're advising on. Oh, so but it needs to be that we also advise the the town's representative to the Pioneer Valley Transit Authority. Yeah, so that's that's the kind of detail that I pulled out. I didn't think we needed to say that for maintaining access to it. That would be what we decide. Um, we're allowed to decide to do as part of our procedure. And my concern is you guys may be narrowing your power in significant ways that are going to limit the ability of a volunteer body who is thinking strategically and holistically to influence what happens. I hear that, Eve. Yeah. I agree. I didn't think about those things before. Thanks. Mm. I can see that point too.
Hmm. So the question is, so I agree also with, with Aaron's point that we need, that it's, that it's okay to simplify this charge a bit, you know, like just the number of words. So, so I think that what we need to do is to make sure that our charge is associated with all the areas that we are have historically been associated with, right? Do you understand, Aaron? I mean, like, so our charts yes, do simplified, but the preamble to that should include all these various realms, including, you know, the PBTA, public transportation, and as well as the, you know, the non-public way as far as you know, right. rail trails and things like that. I, you know, because we, because the the fact is, we've all thought about this a lot more than mm -hmm. regular well people. And, and yeah, the, the other fact is that it, it impacts the public way, and it, it, it because you know I you know and I don't know if I've been effective at sort of explaining it. You know, you can't when you pull on any thread, you're going to unravel the whole thing. Um, you know, the the intersection at West Street. Is related to the intersection of Pomeroy, you know, and that's that's something that um, we offer, um, and maybe need to expand that in this uh, in our suggestion as to the work that we get to do. Okay. Um, I'm going to, oh boy. So, Aaron? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, Bruce. I'm just gonna make a quick suggestion. <laughs> Maybe the use of the word, the TAC will provide an overview and then enlist some of the policies that Eve was mentioning that that might be a way of maybe getting things in a succinct paragraph. If there, if there are some areas that have been left out of the current version that were in the old charge, maybe incorporate yeah. some of that by saying this is, we will provide an overview of these policies and then just list, you know, a few of them or, or edit them in some way. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Would you, would you guys um, be willing to um, maybe entertain me and just look at the bullets from the old charge that start with evaluate based on recommendations? from there down to the one that says foster public awareness and just see if you feel like those are important things to include. Down to where, Eve? The foster public. All the Yeah. Those uh, are there are a lot of good things. things there. Yeah, and there are all things that we've considered in the past, like in the recent past, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you, if you wanted to edit a little bit, instead of listing all of the various uh, people in the town government, you could just say uh, town officials, you know, if that, if that would help just edit a little bit. And I really okay. like bullet points. No, I like, I mean, yeah, I really like it with bullets too. Mm -hmm. It would be better in a little more spaces or indenting or something. Yes. So it's like easier to read. I mean, I, I it, it seems to me like it's a balance between the specificity, like being very specific in yeah. the charge. I mean, I don't want, I mean, we want it to be flexible for the future, right? We don't want to be coming back here 
to try to rewrite our charge. But at the same time, I guess if we're very general, then then some people might say, oh, well, yeah, that doesn't, that shouldn't be involved attack at all, right? So I think it, we need to yeah. sort of balance, like which of the ones do we want to call out is, we definitely want that to be like a specific responsibility for the TAC. I mean, there are a lot of things here and, you know, as a committee that meets like three hours a month, I, I you know, if we were really asked to do all these things in any thing, and in, in, in any way comprehensively, like we wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was part of why maybe we weren't doing as much parking as was originally in the charge too, just because like we already had a pretty full plate. Well, also because the charge didn't have us, it didn't have the parking kick in until something else got finished, which didn't set. So um, we've been avoiding parking for, for those reasons, Tracy. Yes, Guilford. Just a note. You took a two page charge and you've now made it four pages if you actually add those bullet points back in. Yeah, so I mean, the, the, um, the, uh, what, the, the, the idea that I'm, I'm forming is, I mean, the point is that we don't want to limit ourselves from this. We wanna make sure that we don't somehow or other, um, and whether that takes listing them so that we can, or um, some other, the, the, the opposite way. So uh, was that a hand, Bernie? That, that would be a... Yeah, we, I don't, I'm, I'm, I understand what, and again, I'm lacking a lot of history here, so forgive me, but you, you don't necessarily need to call all that out in the charge. That can be a document that accompanies this in other words, you've got a cover page, you've got a page on the charge here that's really a letter. Right. Then you've got the, um, you, 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 we've got what will be a, a brief mission statement composition and the charge. So we're down to, we're down to two pages with lots of white space, which makes it readable. What can go on this as an, as an appendix is when we're talking about the charge, these are examples of what the committee's done in the past and will we'll look to do in the future. So that way you can give people a detailed bullet list that if they wanna look at it and chew on it, that's fine. But the, the, the basic charge itself is, is, is cleaner, lots of white space and, and very readable. And then yeah. just ab above, above that appendix, we just have to make sure that we don't somehow or other limit um, our responsibility for those things. Well, you, you know, the, the to include, 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 or, you know, the, something like the, that. The dance, the dance here is if you have a more general charge, you've given yourself wider space to work at, but people may not, may, may miss some things. If you give yourself a very specific charge and a laundry list of, of specific tasks, people are going to think that that list is exhaustive and, and won't, won't go beyond it. So, you, you know, you're sort of dancing this around. You're also dancing this around with uh, elected officials. Yeah. We're still, as I said before, the council is still finding its way. It'll be another year or so before they really sort of coalesce around a governing style. And, um, uh, you, you know, you, you, you got to be caught, you, you got to be conscious of, of that, that you, uh, you don't want to, um, you, you don't want to go in with a, uh, um, a, a, you don't want to count too strongly, I think, with the council. I mean, I learned that very quickly with them. <laughs> so, is it is so? Uh, in your judgment, are we uh, is are we getting kind of close to what uh, where we should be in this dance? Is this I, I, is this is this working? I'll I'll, uh, I'll you know I'll defer to other people. I think people are headed in the right in the right direction. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we've all, we're all equally as concerned, I think, as any of our town councilors in our town. And I don't think any of us still appreciate the depth of the understanding that one needs to have in order to solve these really complex issues. So I really don't understand why a council with like, I, you know, I have kids in school 
I have kids who go to the library with these issues that are massive <laughs> to the public right now that are far more complex than even this issue, why they want to do the work that we're doing, because I would want to pass that off to anybody else, you know, because yeah. it's, they have so much work to do. You know, I think we should, we should really, you know, just give the honest truth to all the stuff that we've been doing. Just say, hey, we can, we can help you out with this. You know, like that's what I see this as because I wouldn't want to do the work we're doing on top of schools and libraries and budgets and whatever else they have to deal with. That's, I, I got it. The charge is we anything transportation, we can help with we it. We can do it. We've that's been it. thinking that's about the charge. it. It's that, there, that, I think I think I think I like that. One sentence. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Like no, I, the builder. Yeah. No, I think you're I think you're right. And that's and 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 somehow to get the cross that that is the value of and that's why I think this committee or any other committee. Yeah. That's also why I think like, you know, all of these other thoughtful documents that we've actually worked on <clears throat> in the beginning of this, of, of this statement, you know, and to say that we had a significant, whatever, you know, the transportation plan, which was, you know, from us, all, all of these things that we've obviously thought we or our predecessors have thought loads about, you know, which is what our concern is. I think, I think putting those documents at the beginning are, are, is important because it shows the work that we've uh -huh. done, the thought that's gone into the work that we've, we're doing, you know? So the, the cover letter is getting longer, but the charge is still one page. So, okay. Yeah, yeah that's good. right. And that's fine. Yeah. All right. No, that, that, that's, that's, and the vision statement is going into that, that collection. Yeah, which is also something our, we've worked on ourselves, right? So. Well, no, absolutely. And done good work on. Mm -hmm. And there are three minutes left. Yes. Um, all right. Is that a, is it so, <laughs> so does anybody else, would anybody want to take on a couple of, of these pieces to, to to do the the smithing, um, I was going to offer since I didn't see it in the last round. I don't know if you guys feel comfortable with having me send some suggested edits, but I could. Well, I'm a I'm a little little uh, you know. So accepting volunteers. I mean, I I, I, I guess we not? we have a mechanism. So um, we don't have to incorporate Eve's suggestions. <laughs> I mean, I volunteer. But I would love Eve. to hear them. So, so, I would, so I would like yes, to I would. Them. I would. Uh, I would accept that. Eve. It sort of. This feels like old times, um, and yeah. So, if, if you want to, you know, communicate them with me, um, just so we can avoid the open meeting, blah 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 stuff. Um, then I would like to spend another minute and a half to um, consider our next meeting. <coughs> which is the 19th. May I just ask a question? Yes, Bruce, uh, of course. After you and Eve work on the draft, would you send it to all of us so we can- Absolutely. Uh, uh, when I'm met, and, and, and in fact, uh, let, me, let me put it out there that you have this, I know uh, some of you didn't get a chance to get into writing what we talked about and send it along you know, take the chance in the next couple, in the next week, let's, let's try to wrap this up so that um, I can get it out, you know, Thursday or Friday. So we have some time before our, our next meeting. Um, so you, you can get those to me individually, specifically. Um, and, um, and then even I will be doing something on the side and um, we will do this all again in two weeks and maybe we'll get to some other things on the agenda too, but they're not nearly as important as getting this done. And also uh, I want to think, uh, uh, brainstorm a little bit on, on how we present, how we bring this forward to the TSO and to the town council, um, whether we should have a, a plane with a banner uh, pulling it over the, the meeting 
or <laughs> that. just yeah, or just invite ourselves to particular meetings um, or um, you know get our feet underneath uh, the town manager's desk. I, I just want to sort of get a get a consensus on what we think might be the best way to um, nudge a very busy and distracted otherwise um, counselors to, well, I mean, I, so, I mean, I mean, it was very nice of Darcy to say, go ahead, do, do your work. And, and then, and, and then we'll, we'll get back to the beginning um, eventually. So, so Bruce and then Tracy. I, I was going to recommend once we have a draft we're comfortable with to show it to the town manager first. Mm. Okay. Um, I've been keeping the town manager sort of up to date with, with the drafts. Um, you, you don't see that because I don't, I, only put the CC on one one of them. Uh, yours, in fact, Bruce. Um, but um, yes, that's a that's an excellent idea, and I'll, I'll try to do that because he's been actually he's been very helpful in 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 to me in framing questions and, and understanding things. So, Tracy. Um, I mean, just for our next meeting, or maybe I know we're out of time now, and Amber is going to want to leave, and we all have things to do, but. I mean, one thing is, I think as we go forward and we talk about going back to the TSO, like we do have the tasks that we had been working on, you know, just to show the value of the TAC in addition to working on our charge. I mean, so one of the things with the whole prioritization plan is that actually came, I mean, my understanding and in looking into it is that that came, that was one of the recommendations of the complete streets policy plan that was adopted by the town and submitted to MassDOT and approved at MassDOT. And what it said is that for the next phase, I think it's like phase two, if you develop a prioritization plan then you are eligible for complete street funding. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it directly ties into, you know, there was a question about the grants and so on, but just to show, I mean, I've, I mean, I've heard some just kind of general rumblings and things just about, well, whatever happened you know, what do you actually accomplish or what do you get done? And, you know, the value That's, added that we have in addition to having these very yeah. nice discussions as we think about things. In so, the and, picture, but yeah, I would like a, to have like some yeah. work product to show yeah. that we are done with that. So Yeah, this is exactly the brainstorming that I'd like to go through. So that would and, be, that's and, an excellent and, idea for something being bring forward to, I don't know, the first meeting with the TSO and say, here, here's our charge. And, and oh, by the way, there's some more background. I mean, I talked to them for almost a half an hour at that time. And you, you heard me, Tracy, we, we, we talked about a lot of those things, but yes, so that's good. Um, I think too, I mean, like, so even I, at the last meeting, we had talked about having a meeting of the subcommittee, right? The yeah. subcommittee that was working on prioritization and I mean, restarting yeah. that process. And yes, please, that'd be good. So, I mean, I guess the other part of your point that I would want to articulate is that yes, we need to begin to do our regular work besides making a pretty charge and trying to 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 uh, suss out the political process. Um, so this has given Bernie plenty of time to read all of those documents so he can know where we're going to be picking up. Um, and along those lines. Um, so the, 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 I had I, the order of things that I imagine we would want to get started um, is sort of moving the uptake uptake I thought it was intake but uptake form um, and processes at least to identify the the various tracks that things might go in um, to revisit our and, and then review our uh, projects priority list and then to finish our. Bicycle plan. I mean, that, that, that's so, and then, then it's beginning to roll on. There's a lot of stuff that we we have been in abeyance, uh, and are still in abeyance until I, I think it's important that we get this charge in front of the TSO. So, um, I mean, it, I appreciate Darcy saying, "Go ahead, do your work," but I'm a little afraid that if we get too far ahead of the cart, that you know, it's it's going to it's going to cross somebody's threads and already well you you heard it tracy there was some pushback in the tso on on doing things uh, out of order but uh anyway okay i yeah. mean i mean maybe. oh tracy well i mean i guess that i mean just because 
you know, because even though we meet twice a month and so we do, you know, we meet more frequently, like when I was way back when, when I was on the public transportation committee, like we only met once a month, but, um, but also just as we think about our charge, I mean, it is very broad, like we are trying to be comprehensive, you know, if we look at our vision and everything, but to provide some sense of like our priorities or something, if there's some way to kind of prioritize our functioning. It's like we're doing it in this bigger framework, oh. but in terms of just like day to day, like what we're actually capable of doing, given the constraints of being on a yeah. citizen. And that, that might be uh, that might oh. be communicated um, most effectively by you know our agenda and moving through agenda items. You know they sure. can see what we're doing, uh, but yes, and again, that's an, that is something that would be good for our 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 next meeting with um, right. ESL. And it might be good too, just to start to have minutes again, right? So yeah. We can, like, so the public can see like what we've been up to and so on. Yeah. I think so, the last yeah. posted minute is from February. Yeah, whenever, right. Kim. No, I don't. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're waving your hand, so. Um, Mercy. <laughs> five, um, so 5.30 Thursday, two weeks hence. Bruce, I'm looking for motion. I, I will move to end the meeting, to adjourn. I second. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. Is Amber thank still you, on? Thank you, Amber. Move on, but thank you. Right. Long anyway, you went a long time ago. You go, Chris. Yes. Good night. Bye. Bye. We'll be in touch, Eve. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.